Hey everybody, my name is Karthik Subramaniam. I'm a real estate entrepreneur here in Southern California. I'm the founder of a very large real estate education company. Absolutely love what I do. I have a passion for the business. I'm happy to have found it. Follow my journey here on YouTube. My favorite Snapchat filter, an oldie, but a goodie. Let me see if this will focus. Hang on. Look at that. Look at that. I love Snapchat. Of course, about a week ago, uh, Kylie Jenner tweeted that she doesn't really use her uh, Snapchat as much anymore because of the new uh, way that the interface looks. Now, of course, uh, the reason I bring up Snapchat is that I'm not a huge Snapchat user. I mean, I use Instagram, I think, more. Facebook, I hardly log on anymore, but uh, Snapchat was cool like a couple years ago. I really enjoyed it, but I think the filters are really, really nice. But the point is, is that, I, I don't know if this is correlated, but the news is certainly making it seem this way, but Kylie Jenner tweeted that she no longer really logs on to Snapchat. Snapchat had lost $1.3 billion after she tweeted that she doesn't really use the app anymore because of the new interface. Now, a few days after that, CoStar News is reporting that Snapchat put up 163,000 square feet of their office space for sublease in Venice. So Snapchat has been like the juggernaut. If you're on the west side of LA, you know that Snapchat had been snapping up a bunch of office space in Los Angeles, and now they've put up 163,000 square feet of space for sublease. Now, the space isn't cheap, the space is between $4 and $11 per square foot per month. So it's super expensive, but I'm not sure these two things are correlated. Normally you don't get that much space dropped on the market just because you know a celebrity tweeted something or the stock price went down. The reason I bring this up though is that those brokers representing Snapchat on, those, on the sublease are gonna make a ton of money. And if you've thought about what you might wanna do with your real estate license, one thing that I do to make money is that I have a very small boutique commercial real estate firm and uh, I started the first commercial office for Prudential California Realty back in 2007. I was at the time I was, I don't know, it was 27 or 28. And I was at the time the youngest uh, owner of a Prudential franchise in California. So now I'm no longer affiliated with a large company. I just have my own boutique firm and I've had my own company now uh, selling uh, commercial real estate for since 2006, really. We converted to a Prudential in 07 and I've been on my own since 2008. The point in me bringing this up though, of course, is that if you've thought about doing commercial, I've seen a lot of other videos where people online complain that commercial transactions take a long time to close and that they're really, really difficult to put together. Commercial leases actually are a lot faster for you to get paid. When you want to do a commercial lease, all you have to do is basically find a tenant, search CoStar or LoopNet to try to find space, just like the MLS, you put that commercial tenant in that space, you invoice, you get paid. There's no husband and wife bickering about the color of the carpet. There's no appraisal, there's no termite, there's no loan contingency. You put them in the space, invoice, and get paid. So the Snapchat deal, what really intrigued me about it is that it's 163,000 feet of space. So it's a lot of space in a super hot market, Venice, the West Side, Abbot Kinney, great locations these days, and space is at a premium. Those brokers are gonna get paid pretty quick here as that sublease space starts to get chopped up. So if you've thought about selling commercial real estate, it's not just selling buildings like the one I'm in now, leasing is also a way that you can make money. Business opportunities are also a way that you can make money in commercial sales. So there's some people that take the class from us that don't wanna sell houses. In fact, all they wanna do is sell you know, gas stations or dry cleaners or restaurants or coin laundromats or car washes. That's also something that you can do with your real estate license. So the Snapchat deal prompted me to share another career path with you that you might not have thought of. Now, if you've thought about taking real estate classes, our number to the office is in the description box. Give us a call, we can get a plan of action set for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It'll help me make more videos for you. And of course, don't forget to connect with me on Instagram. I'd love to get to know you on and offline, and we'll talk to you on the next video.